All right, so as you can see, I watched so many of these tutorials how to make the audio sound better. Yeah, I found a solution. Uh, this is all about the laptop audio, which I'm using right now, and I'm recording on my laptop. So first of all, you need to go to this place and download this plugin. I have already downloaded and installed. I will provide the link in the description. After downloading and installation this plugin, you just go to your OBS as here it is and here you press the plus icon and pressing plus icon you go to audio input and select your device like mine is laptop mic. So I'm testing laptop mic here and here you can instead of default you can choose this one. So I have already added, I'm not adding again. That's done, I can remove this one this is here already here as you can see these blue and yellow lines are there so after installation you press these three dots in the gear icon and then then go to filter and here is the actual game once you install this plugin i talked about before you just uh, will see that this will appear here as vst point x or o x whatever you call so first thing is you install this plugin and here i have an equalizer you can also deal with this kind of things r e d and r e a e q what it does it opens like this kind of plugin and one two three four i have set it on default but you can set it on other options as well and check what is the highest sound and what is the lowest sound so that you can adjust one two three four and up to five like as you can see here as well after installation of that plugin i'm leaving it to marvel eq and here if i press open plugin and this one gives me bass and bright and brighter and bassy sound so after that you go to plugin and here you have to select the ratio as you can see mine is here and if i just bring it to this place as i'm speaking and my sound doesn't go to the red area here so this is the decibel here i can select the ratio and you play around whatever suits you then you just pick that position and place it there and that is you can add it from the plus icon and a compressor and boom here you go so keep in mind that this should be here not going to the red area and then you add a limiter go to plus icon here again and add a limiter i have already added and this is the value on my laptop i'm not saying that it would be perfect for your laptop as well but once you're set you play around and you know decrease and increase the value here and that is if you are speaking too loud then it will not go to the certain sound decibels whatever you are setting there so it will remain up to 8.1 d decibel so you can also check around and release in this release section you just keep it as default then once again you need to go to add noise suppression and here it is i have left it up to 22 decibels and it is also okay up to 30 decibels and then what else you need to add that is a gain and mine works on 7 decibels but you can play around and mostly it will work on 3 to 4 or 5 decibels as well but you need to check and play around then your sound would be better and then i name it equalizer as this one and here you can change the values for example my sound you can see that little yellow lines whenever i'm speaking it goes beyond this one and two it goes up and i can play around and make it like this one downside there and uh, that's it like add to this area and it would be 30 83.5 somewhere between 80 and 83 and i can play i can just simply type it 80 and it would be okay for my laptop and you can also increase the gain here i'm leaving it on default but if the sound is not better in your windows laptop then you can increase the gain as well and play around and here is a band selected here is a band and you can also do these settings if these work better for you it gives you a good bassy sound so let me turn off all of these turn off turn off turn off this is turn off
this is turn off and this is turn off now the sound would be a little bit difficult and different but once i switch them on the sound would be diff different so another thing you need to do is just go to this area and right click on this one not on this one you go to sound and go to sound setting and here you need to select the internal microphone double click on it and go to levels and here remember if it is too noisy then you would have a microphone boost just bring it to zero if i bring it up look this would be noisy sound and if the volume is 100 percent then check around and make it up to 70 between 70 to 80 percent so that a little noise wouldn't be there and in the listen section if you are wearing a headphone then you can press the listen button here so that you can hear your own sound as well and in the level section remember this one as well and this stereo mix it is mostly for the mic uh, recording if you're recording something and if you're listening to some videos and translating them with the help of mic then it will work there as well and uh, you can also check around but if it if you want to keep it there you just keep it otherwise you can disable this one as well so keep in mind this one listening and level here you have to bring this one down so that there will be no background noise and here decrease the volume up to 70 or even lower in your case if you are speaking too close to your laptop so this sound will this sound setting will definitely help you to bring your audio to the next level if it is the case then do the setting and check around and particularly this gain area this is very much important i turn it off and this is sound right now it goes up to these decimals and if i turn it on it doesn't go to the red area so this is very much important you do these settings and your laptop would sound better in my case i had a terrible you know sound in the past videos but i'm still improving and checking it out every day uh, for my laptop and for my external mic as well so i hope you got the idea and your sound would be better now after doing these settings and uh, if it is thumbs up and subscribe i'll see you in the next one Bye bye